today I am hitting you guys with another movie video because the only thing that I love, like almost as much as music, is movies. And so, you know, I want to be doing a couple movie videos on the channel. I did not do a best movies of 2019. I also didn't do a best songs of 2019. Don't know if I ever will. But in this video, I want to just tell you about five visually stunning movies. Five movies that just work so well on a visual level. Five movies that are outstanding for their visuals and all those kind of things. And, you know, they're not specifically from any year. They also happen to be from this decade. But I am planning on doing another one of these videos because, you know, the reason I'm only talking about five is so this video is nice and short. You know, you can watch it, get on with your lives. It's also because I want to do this again sometime. And if I did a top ten, then I wouldn't be able to make as many of these visually stunning movies entries. And I want to do this now. Probably will do it again. Probably not too far in the future because I have a lot of other movies on my mind that I didn't put in this video. But here are just five visually stunning movies. And, you know, I'm going to show the picture of the movie poster or the movie logo or whatever and then talk about it. So here we go. This movie won seven freaking Oscars. That's a lot of Oscars. Most movies don't get that many Oscars. It has a 96 on Metacritic. This is one of the most critically acclaimed movies ever made. And this is the most effective thriller I have ever seen, I think. I think I've never been more thrilled by a movie and been on like the edge of my seat than this movie. And I watched it very recently. It came out 2013 and I just recently watched it. And visually, guys, this movie is like unlike anything else I've ever seen. There is CGI used. And it takes a little while to get over the CGI people. Like when they're floating around in space, you might think, man, that looks kind of weird to see the CGI p people. But the space station and the action and everything that happens, sometimes it's really claustrophobic. Sometimes just the camera work and just visually, like... You're in space and it just feels desolate and just alone and just the destruction of the space satellites and everything. It just looks amazing. Like you could frame it. I mean, this is a stun- literally, this is a stunning movie visually. La La Land is one of the best movies ever made. One of the best movies of this last decade and visually this movie is fan- Fantastic. Musically, it probably has the best movie soundtrack ever. I mean, I don't know of any movie soundtracks that are better than La La Land. We're not talking about music, we're talking about how this film looks, which is fantastic. I mean, you have different settings. You, just the opening scene, where it, it's like a highway, just super crowded with cars, and you're going by and you're seeing different cars. This, the camera work, the colors in this movie pop off the screen, and it's fantastic. This movie looks Amazing. It's a visually, a visual masterpiece. La La Land, let's go. Fantastic movie. Toy Story 4 is the worst film in the Toy Story franchise. Narratively, in terms of plot, in terms of writing, in terms of really, and it just didn't need to be made because the first three are such fantastic films. This one just really falls short. The one area where this film does not fall short is in the visual department, because this film looks incredible. It looks amazing. I mean, honestly, this thing just, man, man, like I'm watching this movie and I'm like, it, it just, the setting for this one is really great. It takes place in like a carnival and then it takes place in an antique shop. And having the characters, having the point of view from toys, from these tiny little characters instead of humans, makes everything feel grand and huge and epic. Makes the carnival just, especially the antique shop, just looks amazing. The the dummy, the slappy dummy dolls look amazing. They look like almost real. And just the, you know, the porcelain of the, of the Bo Peep character, just shiny. And it's just, it's a shiny movie, bro. It's just like, this film... And this is CGI animation at its absolute finest. It looks amazing. The Lighthouse is extremely unique from a visual perspective because one, it's black and white. And two, it's on this like tiny ratio. So instead of being like full screen like the video you're watching where it's like this wide and this tall, it's like this wide and this tall. Instead of a rectangle, it's a box. It's like this big. And um, just the creative decisions on this film 
just pay off so well because this is a very intense movie. It's a movie about mounting, like it just the the claustrophobic camera work, the claustrophobic ratio, screen ratio, and the black and white just make the film feel so much darker. It just adds so much to the movie and makes it feel cramped and intense. And it's just these two guys in this little in this little room for a lot of it, and it just adds all this intensity and all this character to the film that. Just, just in terms of creative decisions, and just visually, like you're on an island, you're on a lighthouse, you see these things, you see the lighting, and just everything about this film, from a visual standpoint, is extremely well done, especially the ending scene. Lighting is used extremely well because there's no color in this movie. There's a lack of color, and the lack of color is actually an art form in and of itself, and adds so much to the film by not having color, but visually, the lighthouse is fantastic. The last film I have on here is kind of a weird pick, because like Toy Story 4, this is not the best movie. Like, this is honest, this is easily, out of these five movies, this is easily the worst movie on this list. I wouldn't even say this is a great movie. But visually, stop motion has never looked better than this. I, I love animation. I love animated movies. And, you know, when I do my next entry on this, you're definitely going to see some more animation. I have, I have some animated movies that I did not mention that I really need to mention on the next one. But visually, this thing is fantastic. It just looks amazing. Like, it's beautiful. The setting is like outside, it's nature, and they go on an epic journey, and just, ah. Uh, I mean, it's not even, not all the scenes are outside. The inside, too, just the detail on the houses, and it just, it feels like they actually created all of this. I think they did. I think that's how stop motion works, right? They actually made all of this stuff, these models, and they interact with it, and things break, and things get thrown, and it's just, I don't know. Stop, not, a lot of people don't care for stop motion. This just blows my mind. It is, especially if you don't care about stop motion, watch this movie, and I think it will change your mind. It is fantastic from a visual standpoint. That's all I got for this video. Like I said, I really want to do another one of these because one of my favorite things about movies and that makes movies different from music or reading a book, which I also love to do, is the visuals, is how the film looks, how it's shot, the colors or the lack of colors, as in the case of The Lighthouse or another movie that I'll be talking about on the next video. Yeah. Um, what's your, what is your favorite, what is the best look, what, what movies to you are visually amazing? What are your favorite movies from a visual standpoint. You know what? Yeah, I might do the second episode because I have all these movies already on my mind. I might do the second episode like really soon. We'll, we'll see. Maybe maybe I'll upload that like the same day or the day after. Let, let's, let's go. Let's go. Have a great rest of your day. Uh, yeah.